Far too many business owners and entrepreneurs focus on building a business and not a brand. On this Branding Bites podcast, I dish out bite-sized strategies to keep your personal brand front and center to make a more significant impact and see bigger results in your business. Hey there, it's Kristen Korn, and you're listening to the Branding Bites Podcast, episode number 116. Five quick tips for building the perfect personal brand on Instagram. So as you know, Instagram is an excellent way to express your creativity and showcase your work in any field. But there are some things you should keep in mind when taking this approach to branding yourself, like choosing the right username, writing a bio that reflects your personality, or posting content that's relevant for not only today's social media audience, but your ideal client, your ICA. Most people don't realize how important it is to have an Instagram account until they start using it. And then they're left wondering what to do next. So I have compiled five quick tips for building the perfect personal brand on Instagram so you can get started with confidence. So after working with hundreds of personal brands, I understand it's not always easy to know how to get started with Instagram, especially for a business. After all, there are some things you need to keep in mind, honestly, before ever posting anything on the platform. But luckily for you, like I said, I have these five quick tips I'm going to share So you're going to have the confidence and the knowledge necessary to start your account off right. But these tips are going to work for any brand at any stage. There are great reminders to understand the basics of Instagram that many overlook. So without further ado, here are five quick tips to build your brand on Instagram. The first one is choose a username that reflects who you are as a person and what type of content you post. So the username is your handle. So this will make it easier for your current and potential followers to find you as it is a searchable part of Instagram. So it's very, very important that you think about how you want to attract your ideal follower because you want to use keywords in these sections that they're already searching for. So by doing this trick, your profile is going to come up higher in the Instagram search results. This is where having done extensive SEO keyword research will help. But your username is not something you want to change often after you set it up. So maybe it's best to use your full name in this section. And then the name, which we're going to get to in a second, you can use those keyword searches. So there you go. First one is choose a username that reflects who you are as a brand. All right. The second quick tip is to update your bio to reflect your brand goals. So when writing a bio or uploading a profile photo, ask yourself if it reflects your personality or brand. If it doesn't, then you might need to consider a change. So the bio section, along with your username, like I mentioned, Profile picture and link. These things are the first things people see when they visit your profile page. And they are the ones that are going to make or break your profile. So profile picture. This is the prominent thing that's going to draw attention when someone visits your profile page. It should give a lasting impression. Thus, your job is to make it memorable and familiar. And for these reasons, it really needs to be your face. Then one of the bio components that's usually misused by people is the name field. Okay, not the username, which we already talked about, that's your handle, but the actual name on the Instagram profile. This is also a searchable field. It can have up to 30 characters. And since Instagram does not require it to be your actual name, you are free to be smart about what you put here. So a business name or like I suggest, one to two targeted core keywords that best describe your business. And then lastly, your bio description should include what you do and how it helps your ideal client. Your bio link then is the only clickable link on your entire profile. So this profile link is very important because it's gonna drive most of the traffic to where you really want it to go. We don't want people to stay on Instagram, we want them to go somewhere else. Plus it's a way to get your audience 
onto a page and platform that you own. So refer to top of funnel marketing for a way to lead a prospect into your sales process with this bio link. All right, second tip is update your bio to reflect your brand goals. The third quick tip is determine your content pillars. So when it comes to the content you'll post about, it's important to choose a set of content pillars you'll rotate through. As I teach inside my Instagram Unlock Workshop, think about your ideal client and base all your posts around him or her. And if you're just starting out, then ask, would this help my ideal client? Is this something that my ideal client would like to see? Above all, be sure to post original content and avoid plagiarism and stolen images at all costs. After all, it's what you've built up your personal brand for in the first place. So make sure that each photo and video is something you're proud of and represents who you are as the owner of the account. You really need to think about what kind of story and message you want your Instagram page to convey and why people are following your page. So Instagram is essentially a way for you to tell a story through photos and videos. So depending on your target audience and strategy, your Instagram theme can either have only photos, images with text, or memes, or quotes, or videos, or just a mix of all of it. Your theme can be incredibly powerful. So when you use a consistent brand palette and set of design elements, your brand will become memorable to your audience and instantly separate you from competitors. So number three is content pillars and theme. All right, number four is use relevant hashtags and publish short video reels to increase your exposure, uncover new audiences, and build brand awareness. So maybe you're looking for more leads or customers, or maybe you're looking to build brand awareness with more reach. Whatever the reason, hashtags help you connect with other users who are interested in the same things as you, and they can also help you find new audiences. Then video reels are a great way to connect with your audience and show them what your brand is all about. Plus, they're a great way to showcase your products and services and simplify complex ideas. All right, number four, use relevant hashtags and reels to increase exposure. All right, number five, last but not least, keep in mind the emotional journey a potential client takes with your brand. Building a strong community on Instagram does not happen overnight, so it's important to continuously reflect on the know, like, and trust principles. Most potential clients don't see your post and then go purchase your product or service right away. There is an emotional journey that potential clients take from the time they get introduced to your brand to when they decide to purchase from you. So at first, they must know who you are and then connect with your brand. Next, they need to like what they see from your brand as you shift their perspectives with your beliefs. And then lastly, their trust with you increases as you share your unique solution to their problem. That's why it is imperative to hit them with the right content at the right time for their stage. All right, so five quick tips. So in today's digital marketing world that we live in, it is crucial to have a strong presence on social media, especially Instagram. It's one of the platforms I choose for my marketing strategy. This is especially true for businesses that sell products or services online. So in this episode, I've discussed some of the best practices and strategies that you can employ when building your brand on Instagram with content pillars, hashtags, video reels, themes, and more. So if you want help creating an effective Instagram strategies, these principles are sure to get you started in the right direction. But maybe you still feel completely overwhelmed by Instagram. You know it's important to reach a new audience on this platform, but you don't have the time or energy to figure it all out. Now, I understand how frustrating that can be because I've been there recently as well with Instagram. <laughs> so much so, I took a total hiatus from posting for an entire month this past fall. So like most things, instead of giving up on the platform for business, I did some research and education on what signals triggered the Instagram algorithm 
I thought I was disliking so much, but what I found was a breath of fresh air. No, I didn't need to do lives daily. No, I didn't need to spend hours a week creating reels. No, I didn't need to dance on camera. And no, I didn't need to dump in ad money. I just had to start playing by the Instagram algorithm rules and stick to the personal branding strategy I was already using. So within two weeks of using my new Instagram marketing strategy, I reached 6,000 new accounts, had 20 more profile visits, and 7,000 more impressions. That was just two weeks. And the best part was I was spending two hours a week on content creation. That's it. So I was onto something. I had really unlocked an Instagram marketing strategy that made sense for my brand. And now I'm sharing my unlock strategy with you in a virtual workshop. So you can sign up for Instagram unlock at kristencorn.com forward slash Instagram. Believe me, there is no need to give up on Instagram. I've got you because I get you. I want to help you learn how to create a professional brand that also shows your fun personality. So I created this easy to follow workshop that will help you get your business out there in no time. So with my step-by-step -step instructions and tips, videos, and workbook, you won't have to worry about making mistakes with your content anymore. My goal is for you to spend less time worrying about Instagram and using a app and more time focusing on what matters is growing your business. So go to kristencorn.com forward slash Instagram right now and sign up for access to the upcoming Instagram Unlock Workshop today. All right, purpose-driven CEOs, until next time, keep putting purpose behind your brand. And thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Branding Bites podcast. I'd love to hear from you. So hop on over to Instagram at Stay in your lane brand and drop a comment. And if you're feeling extra gracious, please leave a review wherever you caught this podcast. You can dive into the show notes for this episode and all episodes at brandingbitespodcast.com. And if you love this podcast, please share it with a friend. Thanks for tuning in.